Hacking is a fascinating topic and it's one that's been explored in a number of different media, but visual novels offer a unique way to experience hacking as they allow you to step into the shoes of a hacker and see the world from their perspective. In this video, I'll be taking a look at some of the best visual novels where the protagonist and story revolves around hacking, so let's get started. Ayo. Ayo is a science fiction visual novel produced by Register. It was released by GN Software for the PlayStation 2 in January 2006 and by Asgard for Windows in August 2008 under the title Ayo Revision 2. Its English fan translations been carried out by the team Lemiska Translations in 2014. The game is divided into four routes, each of which follows a different character. Route A, Hinata Aoi, a lethargic high school student who is investigating the disappearance of his twin sister, Mutsuki. Route B, Ishtar, a woman who is a freelancer and leader of a hacking group. Route C, a second Ishtar, who is searching for something important. Route D, a man who goes by the nickname He, who does not have any friends and who is opposing an organization. The game is heavily related to hacking as all four protagonists are involved in it in some way. Hinata is trying to hack into a government database to find information about the sister's disappearance. Ishtar is a hacker herself and she uses her skills to help her team carry out their crimes. The second Ishtar is also a hacker but she is working on a different agenda and he is a hacker who is fighting against an organization that he believes is corrupt. It explores the dark side of hacking and it shows how it can be used for both good and evil. It also raises questions about the nature of reality and the power of technology. Ayo is a complex and thought-provoking visual novel that is sure to keep you guessing until the very end. The hacking in Ayo is presented in a realistic and believable way. The game does not shy away from the technical details of hacking and it provides the player with a glimpse into the world of cybercrime. However, the game also makes the hacking accessible to players who are not familiar with the subject. So if you want a game with multiple protagonists in it and that depicts hacking in a realistic way, this one is for you. Twenty forty-five Tsukiyori. Twenty forty-five Tsukiyori is a romance visual novel developed by Melo and released in September twenty twenty-two for PC. An English fan translation has been made by the group CVN, which is a machine translation patch. Oh. In November 2022, this story is set in the year 2045, where the world is heavily reliant on technology. The protagonist, a hacker named Iari So, is arrested by the public security police for his hacking activities. He is then given a choice, either go to prison or work for the government as a cyber warfare agent. Iari So chooses the latter and is assigned to a team of hackers tasked with preventing terrorist attacks. It explores the themes of hacking, cyber warfare and artificial intelligence. It also touches on the darker side of technology, such as its potential for abuse. Hacking is a major part of the story and Iari's skills as a hacker are essential to his success. He uses his skills to infiltrate networks, steal data and disrupt operations. AI is also brought up as androids coexist with humanity in this game and there's a romance about it. If you are more interested in cyber warfare, artificial intelligence or even romance, then I would recommend checking out this game. <sighs> Death End Request 2 Death End Request 2 is a hybrid Japanese role-playing and visual novel video game developed by Compile Heart and published by Aja Factory. The game was released worldwide for Windows and PlayStation 4 in August 2020 and was ported to the Nintendo Switch in 2021. This story follows Mai Toyama, a young woman who seeks an escape from her traumatic past. She enrolls at Wordsworth, an old girl's dormitory situated in the small mountainous town known as Liz Shoala. Mai soon discovers that Liz Shoala is not what it seems. The town is shrouded in darkness and its inhabitants are plagued by nightmares. With the help of her new friends, Mai must unravel the secrets of Liz Shoala. 
In Defen Request 2, hacking and digital films play a significant role in the narrative. The game blurs the lines between the real world and the digital realm as characters find themselves trapped in a virtual reality world. This virtual reality is plagued by glitches and malfunctions, and characters must navigate both the real world and the digital world to uncover the truth behind the mysterious occurrences. The gameplay combines traditional turn-based combat with visual novel storytelling. Players engage in battles against various monsters, utilizing a unique system called bug skills that allow them to manipulate the game's code and use hacking abilities to gain an advantage in combat. The intertwining of the real world and the digital world, along with the hacking elements, adds complexity to the storyline and gameplay. Players must solve puzzles, make decisions that affect the course of the narrative. I know some people will tell me this game hasn't its place in this list, as it is more a JRPG. But I wanted to add it, as the story and visual novel part are so prominent that it would have been too bad not putting it in this video. And I've chosen the second installment because the focus simply is more on hacking than the first one. If you're interested in having a game with RPG elements and battles, this game is for you. Ooh, are you scared? Did I just find your weakness? Baldur Force. Baldur Force is a 2D cyberpunk action shooter game, an Eroge visual novel, with fast-paced gameplay developed by Tim Baldurhead and published by Giga, and first released in Japan in October 2002. The game was later translated to English in 2018 by a fan translation group I haven't found the name of, unfortunately. The series is primarily known for its 2007 anime adaptation and the video game Baldur Force X, released in 2003, which is an upgraded version. The game features a world in the not-so-distant future, where humans are able to dive into the online game Brain Burst and fight using humanoid tools called Simulacrum that are mecha robots. The story of Baldur Force revolves around a group of hackers known as the Steppenwolf. The Steppenwolf are hired to hack into a military server, but they soon realize that they have been set up by the military. The military is trying to catch a group of terrorists who are also using the network and need their help to put an end to their activity. The Steppenwolf are drawn into a battle between the military and the terrorists. They must use their hacking skills to survive and defeat their enemies. The action segments are played in a top-down perspective and the player controls a mecha. The mecha can be equipped with a variety of weapons and abilities and the player can customize its loadout to suit their play style, Baldur Force is a fictional game, but it does raise some real-world concerns about hacking. The game shows how hacking can be used to steal information, disrupt businesses, and even harm people. If you're interested in a game with socio-politics, a cyberpunk theme, and conflicts, this game is a perfect fit for you. <laughs> and the last title on this list, Anonymous Code. You have two options, spend your life in jail or die here. Anonymous Code is a visual novel with adventure game elements developed by Magus and published by the latter with Spike Chunsoft. It first released in Japan in June 2022 and released last week worldwide in English. The protagonist, Polon Takaoka, is a member of a two-person hacker group known as Nakano Symphonies with his best friend, Cross Yumikawa, who is recruited by an organization to investigate a series of mysterious events. The events are linked to a virtual reality world called Rhizom, and Polon must use his hacking skills to solve the mystery. The hacking in Anonymous Code is not just a means to an end, it is also a way for the player to explore the themes of the game. The hacking scenes often force the player to make difficult choices, and they can be used to explore the moral implications of hacking. The game features a hacking mechanic called the Hacking Trigger. This allows Polon to save and load certain instances in time, which can be used to solve puzzles, avoid danger, and change the course of the story. Hacking Trigger allows the player to suggest when Polon should use his save and load Ability. When Polon uses save and load, he can rewind the time to a previous save point. This allows the player to experiment with different choices and try to get different outcomes. This adds a layer of strategy to the game and makes it more challenging. It is also closely linked to the game story. The game is set in the world where technology has advanced to the point where people can use their minds to control computers. 
Hacking is a complex and multifaceted topic and Anonymous Code does a good job of exploring it in a way that is both realistic and engaging. The game is sure to appeal to fans of hacking and futurism as it features a cast of well-developed characters that are both relatable and engaging and the visuals are stunning and the music is atmospheric and memorable. However, as it is a game of the science adventure series which is known for having intricate storylines and firm connections with each of its games, I would strongly recommend playing the previous games of the series to be knowledgeable about what is going on in the game and to understand every connection. Did any game in this list pique your interest? If you want to know the video novels that come out in September 2023, check out my video I've published last week. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button and subscribe. With that, have a great day.